Leave that in. Romans 3 24. Being justified freely. How much? By his grace. Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 5 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of god galatians 5 4 christ is become of no effect unto you whosoever of you are justified by the law you are falling from grace you don't fall from grace because you committed fornication you don't fall from grace because you sold somebody's money you don't fall from grace because you lied you fall from grace because you denied what christ has done yes, sir. Yes, sir. when we say somebody has fallen from grace we are not saying he committed sin what we are saying is that he has committed the biggest sin on earth what is the biggest sin the rejection of the finished work of christ so when you reject the cross and you reject the grave and you reject the evidence of his resurrection you have fallen from grace because grace is a byproduct of the cross the grave and the resurrection so when you deny that you have fallen from grace yes, sir. so somebody says what of somebody who lies you fall in grace in grace we stand we don't fall we don't fall in grace even when you make mistake you didn't fall you are still standing having done all to stand just stand by whom we have access into this grace we are in we the only position in grace is stand even when you make mistake you are standing oh you didn't hear what i said there is no falling inside grace inside grace we stand that's our position even in our mistake we are still standing say i hear you yes who is he that condemned who is he that condemned hey who is he that condemned I said, who is he that condemned? Romans chapter 8, verse 31. Who is he that condemned? Hey! What shall we say then to these things? What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who? Not what? Who? Who can be against us? Verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, then he also called. And whom he called, then he also justified and whom he justified then he also glorified how many of you did he call how many of you are called by god how many of you are predestinated by god how many of you are justified by god how many of you are glorified by god if you are here shall glory then the next verse what shall we say then say to these things if god be for us who can be which things what shall we say to these things which things predestination call justification glorification what shall we say to these things if god be for us who can be against the fact that we are justified who can be against the fact that we are glorified if god be for us that means the fact that he foreknew us and predestinated us and called us and justified us and glorified us that fact is the guarantee that god is for us that's the context the fact that God, in spite of our mistake, foreknew us. He foreknew us. Yet, in spite of the fact that he foreknew us with all our mistakes and shortcomings and our failure. Yet, with that foreknowledge, he predestinated us. And in the predestination, he called us. And in the calling, he just, we didn't justify ourselves. We didn't justify ourselves. In us, there is no justification. In us, we are criminals. But God justified the criminal. Not only did he justify us, in the face of our mistakes, he glorified us. So if God has done all of that, knowing with all our mistakes, knowing that we will fall, knowing that we will make mistakes, knowing that we will sin, knowing that things will go wrong with us, yet with all of that, if God justified us and glorified us with all of that, then since God is for us, who can be against us? who they bonnet him not is that english like that he fitting bonnet they bonnet him not eh? yes they bonnet him not bonnet him where hence whence cometh he 
where where is commerce tea commerce tea from where who zima nangala leave that thing what shall we then say to these things if god be for us who can be against us he that spared not his son in spite of our mistakes in the dungeon of our sin he spared not his son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely he didn't wait for you to be a good boy he didn't wait for you to be a good girl in your sin in your darkness in your backwardness but god commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners christ died for us greater love has no man than this that a man should lay down his life for his friends somebody shout grace 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 Say that let's push this thing to <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> somebody says why is he behaving like that if you know what i know you will behave like i behave <laughs> somebody shall glory somebody shall glory somebody shall glory Woo. hey hang him on satire 